Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Today is September 29th, 2019, and it's 11 a.m. PDT, Pacific Coast Time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you're doing well. Today's live stream is open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, and of course, more because we're talking about current events regarding anything. Aside from that, uh, welcome to the stream. We're just gonna just chill for a bit until people start rolling in. And we're back in the library area. We spent a huge part of the summer in the sunroom. Uh, now it's getting a little bit colder. We're in fall, chilly. So we're going to give us uh, one more layer of protection. As far as uh, what I got around me right now, just as nourishment and whatnot, I got my tea, right? Hannah, good morning, good morning. Got some tea going on. I hope you're doing well. I got some water. And check this out. This is Cornelian Cherry Liqueur. And I uh, made some of this, I guess, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe. I actually shot the video. Uh, now that I'm back into editing mode, uh, I'm gonna see if I can edit the video and have it up sooner rather than later. And let me show you what the jar looks like. Okay, you're gonna see the making of it racer kill how are you doing here is the two liter jar of cornelian cherries look at this thing absolutely beautiful i found a cornelian cherry tree in our neighborhood so i went and picked some with the first round i made jam and this is what i ended up getting a little bit more than this what i ended up getting on the second pick and wanted to make the liqueur X, how are you doing? This is a two liter, 1.9 liter uh, jar. And within two and a half weeks, three weeks, let's say, I think it's two and a half, uh, the Cornelian cherry liqueur is tasting amazing. Really, wow. This is dangerous. I'm drinking this on the rocks. Okay, and there's a Cornelian cherry there. I wanted to have a discussion with you about what is the obsession with democratic socialism. To me, it seems to be that the poor hate the rich and want more money. I look at states like Texas that are very right wing and they are very economically successful while states like California are failing. Hello, hello. Hello, Lonely Piggy. Hello, Odd Mac. How are you doing? Long time no see. Tomorrow we're going to do math. Hannah, uh, in regards to your question, okay, let's break it down. Um, I don't think Cali is failing economically. Agreed. Cal California is not failing economically, even though there's tons of homelessness issues and stuff like this, right? California, if it was functioning as a single country, last time I looked it up or something, it, it would have been if it functioned independently. If it was a single country, I think it was the fifth. It was a few years ago I looked it up. But fifth or sixth largest economy in the world, if it was a country. But that's nowhere near near failing. Okay. I don't always agree with you, Chicho, but I always love respectful. For sure, Hannah. Off, dude, that's the reason why we're doing this, right? King Lucky, how are you doing? King X Lucky. Yo, yo. I cherish our, discuss our discussions. I really i've grown very very uh f fond is not a strong enough word to these current event live streams i like it because it also i also get informed when i talk and i question some of my beliefs as well democratic socialism doesn't mean much most people just mean more public spending uh racer kill so let me let me break down give you my perspective first of all the second part was easy uh Texas 
Texas is not necessarily prospering either, by the way. Uh, very successful. Their water, natural water supply is in deep trouble. Just like California, they're bringing a lot of water from out of state. Uh, last time I looked into it, Texas was trying to build, this was 10 years ago or something, trying to build pipelines to start draining some of the water from the uh, Great Lake area. And some of the states were like, no, man, we're not going to allow you to bring a pipe to suck out all the water. Okay. There's also California and Texas do not function independently, right? There, there's a lot of external forces, both domestically within the United States and politically, geopolitically around the world. So that's, we can't make general statements about Texas is very successful, California is failing. You got to look at the economic cycle and all that jazz, okay? That was the second part of the question. The first part of the question is this. I want to have a discussion with you about what is the obsession with democratic socialism? Right now, uh, substitute democratic socialism with any other political philosophy other than capitalism, right? That is the obsession, or let's call it corporate crony Wall Street capitalism, right? Because that's what the United States is, right? It's corporate capitalism, cor corporate socialism in large part where not and again i'm using the term loosely corporate socialism could mean a couple of different things as we talked about in the last live stream current events live stream right but basically the obsession with anything other than the present economic system is growing you could say the same thing about all the other ones the only reason democratic socialism is is more this being discussed than the other ones is because of the Democratic Party, right? The DNC, they control a lot of the corporate propagandist uh, sources of information, if you call it information. So that's on the forefront. For me, uh, I don't talk about democratic socialism. It doesn't mean anything to me. I, I don't think it's, so the terminology is off, but basically, it's just because of the Democratic Party, right? It has nothing to do with socialism per se. If you recall, uh, all the Democratic candidates, including Bernie Sanders, was for overthrowing the Venezuelan government, which many considered, and it's not really socialism, right? It started off that way, but it's morphed because of external forces. They were in support of sanctions on Venezuela and overthrowing a democratically elected socialist party right so don't listen to anything that the democrats have to say it just lies upon lies upon lies don't listen to anything that the republicans have to say because it's lies upon lies upon lies right look at who they're supporting what they're doing and what the propagandists are regurgitating okay once you get tired of that crap you can try to figure out what's really going on in the world. Democratic socialism Admic, is more like capitalism with a very strong welfare net uh, and a huge welfare net for corporations as well. Good afternoon, Chicho. Intelligent Blueberry, how are you doing? Blue Dreams, 224. Hello from London. Salutations from West Coast of Canada, Victoria, British Columbia. Would you surrender to your government? Ah, yes. <laughs> Good morning, Chicho. How are you doing? Great lasagna, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well. Enjoying some Cornelian cherry liqueur is back on. California is rich because it's a financial center with big international companies. On the other hand, they don't develop any human capital on their own. They have some of the worst school uh, results in the U.S. Is that per design or is that because of uh, they're inept, like <laughs> they're totally or corruption or whatever it is? California is extremely rich, okay? Technology rich, even though it's falling behind uh, China and other nations to a certain degree, right? It's technology rich and it's one of the biggest food 
uh, producers in the world, really, right? Huge, huge, huge. So California does have other things. And of course, entertainment, uh, tourism. Would, what do you mean by human capital? Tech companies don't count as human capital. Yeah, I agree with Otmik. There's tons of human capital there. Uh, and it doesn't, human capital doesn't necessarily mean high end capital. There's a lot of, a lot of low end workforce there as well. Hence the agriculture industry, right? And Hollywood in large part and other things as well, right? Tourism industry, right? Mostly people not from California. Racer kill, um, not from California. I don't know what that means. Are we talking one generation born there? I think most of the people that live in California were born in California. I, I don't think the, the number of people that weren't born in California, the percentage is very high. I'd be surprised if it was more than people that are living in California that aren't from Cal. I'd be surprised if it was more than 5%, really. I'm assuming 95% of the people that live in California, maybe 90% of people that live in California were born in California. I can't see the numbers being any lower than that. What's good, Chicho? ZW Money, how are you doing? What's good? Granilian cherry liqueur is very, very, very good. So California, California just happened to become lucky that it became a center for me mega corporations. No, not lucky. It also has to do with resources. It also has to do with history. California has very, very rich soil. Certain parts of California, very rich soil. It, it's amazing. Its water has not been managed properly, right? So there's a lot of, it, but it does have water different parts of California, but California is huge, huge, huge. Um, California, the, California, and California is not homogenous. There's a lot of different belief systems and different ways, like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego, three completely different cities, really. Thank you for your insight, Chicho. Very interesting. Uh, thanks, Anna. I just, you know, if uh, if I miss anything, please inform me. If or my perspective doesn't include certain important things, the world doesn't stand a chance in a war against the West. <laughs> the spider beans, spider beans. How you doing? I also brought some little crunch crunch cereal thingamajigs. Silicon Valley took off because a lot of military research took place in uh, San Fran 1960s. Yeah, the bases there are huge, right? And as well as uh, Hollywood, and there's other things like uh, there's also huge science uh, based uh, centers in California, the universities, right? Like if you're if you're into earthquake research, you for geophysics. California is a pretty sweet place to be, right? Like, believe it or not, there are geophysicists out there that want to be in a major earthquake to see what it feels like, right? I had a teacher that he would follow the predictions of when the next big earthquake is going to happen in different parts of the world, and he had never been in a huge earthquake. So one time there was a news that Japan, the probability of Japan having an earthquake in the next two months or something was pretty high because it had a lot of minor tremors and stuff like this. So it looked like, the graph looked like that a big one might be coming, right? So he took like a month vacation and he flew to Japan and just waiting for an earthquake. I know it sounds insane, but if you're passionate about something, you want to experience that thing, right? So he flew to Japan and lived there for like a month, right? No earthquake. His vacation is over. He's going to come back, right? He got on the plane while he was traveling back to Canada. Earthquake happened in Japan, right? So if you're geologist, geophysicist, uh, interested in water resources and managing water, and California is huge, man. huge, huge, huge. 
Sorry if there was a typo. I am typing fast. Speedy Gonzalez style. <laughs> or Speedy Gonzalez. Not related, but I'm cutting social media and YouTube pretty much completely since I'm super addicted. Spider beans, good on you, brother. Good on you. I've, I'm cutting back certain other things um, in my regiment that have been consuming a lot of time. There's been a lot of amazing shows coming out and I was watching, trying to watch a lot of them. So I basically put a limit on myself. If it's not phenomenal, I'm not gonna watch it, right? Like, so that, that filter out a whole bunch more. Uh, I hope you'll still watch some of the other stuff or be here beings for the live streams. 2010, 27% of Californian, California's population wasn't even born in US by the way. Cool. So 70% of the people in California are from California. They were born there, right? Oh no, hold on. What is this? 70, 27% of California's population wasn't even born in the US by the way. Okay, that's huge for sure. For sure. But what do you expect when your boundary is right beside Mexico, right? Uh, so far, more than 5% of Californian population was born outside of California. More than 5%. More than 5%. Okay. Like, when we used to go to California in the 1980s and 90s, we'd go to gas stations in the middle of the night. Like, we're driving. We'd do all-nighters driving from Vancouver to, Cal to Los Angeles and stuff like this. You start getting close to southern Los Angeles. You go to gas stations overnight. Like, we couldn't find anyone that spoke English. <laughs> this is in the 80s and 90s. And it all depends where you're getting the, the stats from, Racer Kill. Uh, California, for sure, is going to have a way bigger migration, immigration, illegal or not, uh, residency than most of the other, than Idaho or California or Canada, right? It's just, it's proximity. And California is in flux, like really. Racer kill. But even if California's, California's gains are because of immigration, that doesn't diminish its value as an economic state. Yeah, I agree with Otme. Like, Avengers movie, one billion dollars in the first week, right? In the first week. Deadpool one billion dollars in the first month or something like this all all these movies like that's f funneling into one center right I personally don't like it but I don't like all the, all that money all those resources going to one location personally and that's gonna reduce by the way a little bit like all with all the different streaming services coming up and stuff like entertainment is really breaking up great spider beans thank you chicho i made a new youtube account and i'll still be watching all your videos still and i'll be on twitch a lot awesome beans awesome thanks for sticking with me <laughs> and you can go to bitshoot as well right so i am loading stuff on bitshoot uh so bitshoot has the le uh, lower tendency of forcing addiction uh, addictive habits to its viewer viewer viewers right youtube Google, they try to push. Keep on watching, keep on watching. Bitchute is a little different, right? I've been able to up upload almost all my videos on Bitchute. There's like a couple of videos I've had problems with. For some reason, the Bitchute processing is not working. Uh, but I haven't had that uh, for a while. And sometimes I just reload it, right? Confirm, confirmed as recently as 2015, 27% of Californians are foreign born based on census data. Okay cool casement that's that's big that's a lot that's a lot right this is a serious question are the people are the people to surrender their arms to the government this is a serious question are the people to surrender their arms to the government juicy question Hannah says uh, personally in my opinion no right when people talk about gun control in in general when people say they want guns off the streets they're basically if you're interpret that they basically want guns in the hands of one central organization oh, that scares the crap out of me personally right 
That's what people people say when they want gun control. We all have guns off the streets. But private security, some places have guns. The police have guns. The military have guns. And all of those are really controlled by corporations. So they just want to arm the corporations. Bad idea. The point is that there can't be that many places like California. It's a center that sucks up talent from elsewhere. It's not self-sufficient. Um, for sure, I agree with you there. It's not self-sufficient. It's reliant on external forces. But that's what we're talking about when it came to California and Texas. They're not islands on their own. They're dependent on external forces. Texas is dependent on external forces. Te Texas is an oil state. Let's, I'm simplifying it, but an oil state, if California is an entertainment state, right? Hollywood is a huge chunk of his GDP and Texas oil is a huge chunk of his GDP, right? If you include the military, the private uh, contractors that are associated with the Texas corporations, then it's also military as well as is California, but all states in the United States are military states, right? So Texas being an oil state, there's no way you could consider Texas to be an island on its own. Let's assume the global economy just shuts down or no one buys oil from Texas. What's going to happen to Texan economy? It's going to completely crumble, right? I mean, immigrants might move there anyways. The United States leads in research as much as it does because of brain drain. They can keep on being attractive to immigrants as an independent state. Yeah, Otmik, I agree with Otmik on this. Like in Canada, there's something called a brain drain in Canada, right? And the brain drain refers to Canadians who get higher education, right? Or even uh, certain technical uh, trades, right? Really, you know, they're phenomenal welders or sheet metal workers or whatever. There's a lot of people in Canada that are in high demand in Canada but can, can, Canadian co corporations can't pay enough to keep them from moving to the United States right like back in the 90s as a geophysicist I was offered a job in California right no, I'm sorry not California in Washington State right just across the border right they paid a lot more especially in US dollars than what I was being paid in Canada but it wasn't enough. I counter-offered <laughs> a lot more. For me to move there, it had to be a lot more because I was uh, going to be away from family and stuff. So there's a brain draining uh, happening as well. It's just the nature of the beast. Gun control isn't an easy conversation. It's a lot more granular than black or white. In my opinion, let's start by uh, demilitarizing the police. Case man, I 100% agree with you. The, one of the main reasons the citizens of the United States are armed to the teeth, some of them anyway, okay, is not because they're afraid of rob, robbery by random people, is because they fear the centralized state. De-escalate. If people really want to reduce the number of guns in the United States, first thing, and any legitimate person talking about this would recommend is exactly what case man said just imagine if a politician came up and said i have a solution to reduce the number of guns in the united states by a certain percentage and it would right pick your percent we haven't done the analysis on this someone someone should do a survey right some large company or the government or do a census if we started demilitarizing the police would you at least reduce the number of guns that you own like i've been in people's home they have a gun in every house in the united states back in the 80s and 90s right i guarantee you a pretty large percentage of people would reduce their gun collection by at least one ah, no, thank you for the bits <laughs> right so demilitarize the police. Dante, how are you doing? How's life? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to political live stream. I like the way we started. It's good.
We haven't talked about anything uh, silly that the corporate propagandists are pushing on people. Oh, yeah, for those of you who didn't see, because I showed this earlier, this is the Cornelian cherry liqueur that I made like three weeks ago. This, that's, this is what I'm drinking. I actually shot the video for this. So hopefully I'll have this up. You know, I just started, got my video editor up, uh, up and running. So I'm going to do a few different, uh, you know, trial runs of things. And then I'm going to start getting into editing uh, a couple of the videos I shot. There's two liqueur videos that I need to edit and I got more videos to shoot. Uh, one of them, I'm not sure if the person is watching or not. Someone has been asking me to give my recommendations regarding physics textbooks. And I have that in the works. I have the books put on the side. I'm going to grab some from here. Uh, it's coming brother or sister. Okay. I had a system crash. I needed to take care of some business. Can you go more into detail on what demilitarizing the police would be like? Uh, case man or me? First of all, stop selling outdated military hardware to the police, not even selling, giving it away. Because what's happening with the policing in the United States? First of all, a lot of them, in certain states have been going to Israel and being trained by the Israeli police, right? The way they've controlled occupied territory, right? So that's the mentality going forward in the United States. Certain areas in the United States, suburbs and cities and regions are occupied territory. Who's occupying them? The militarized police, right? So that's the mentality they're in there with, right? So first of all, stop training them in military tactics stop giving them outdated military hardware right tanks and armored vehicles like wow for anyone let's just let's call them apologies if i'm using this word for those of you who know what is going on right according to the corporate propagandists paranoid people who are afraid of their government, right? If I saw an armored vehicle in the hands of the police in Canada driving around and maybe busting down the door of my neighbor, I would be afraid. Not of the neighbor, of the people busting down the door. That would be a natural reaction. They look scary. We just had elections today. We just had elections today. Where'd you have elections? Sweet us. Wait a second, Dante. Where'd you have elections? Is it sweet? Chicho, 100% agree with what you're saying. Uh, I'm so curious about your thoughts. What happened with Trump and the impeachment stuff? Just garbage. Just noise. My opinion regarding Trump's impeachment is the same opinion I had about Russiagate. Just pure garbage from the get-go. Democratic Party is a write-off. Do same with the Republic. They're just both garbage. I put out a video. Uh, you know, finally got into doing political videos because I was staying away from it because I did a lot of political writing and I didn't really want to. But I know this stuff is going to get harder and harder, right? Harsher and harsher as well, right? So. You know, people were asking me about Hillary or Trump back in 2016 or 2015 in the buildup. So I put out a video saying that they're both garbage, right? Trump impeachment? <laughs> How come they didn't go after uh, other presidents that wage wars of aggression or torture? Like, don't you want to impeach someone because they tortured people? They gave the go-ahead to torture people? over a phone call phone call for what not that i support him like people assume just because i don't want him his head on a head on a stick <laughs> i support someone <laughs> it's crazy i hope I didn't, well i probably did burn some feathers or something or rustle feathers or burn some bridges how's it going chicho eraser how you doing very racer australia you just had general elections in australia dante no 
I, the news I follow from Australia, I follow some random news, but the one I mainly follow uh, is uh, honest government ads by uh, uh, rap news. They used to do rap news. Good day, everyone. Frozen Harlequin. Good day to you. Case my Chicho. Chicho and I aren't necessarily in a good place knowledge wise to explain the details of how the the demilitarization would take place we see the problem with the military industrial complex the gun lobby the defense budget of the u.s etc the thing that leads us to let us to where we are is greed not safety we need to address the real issue economic and politics 100 percent agree case man 100 percent agree it's huge growth economic growth we got to sell more right what was that uh, uh nicholas cage um with that movie which was really good it was a uh, war where it was a weapons dealer right and he's you know there's a there's a quote in nicholas cage in that movie where they say um where he says one out of 12 people in the world uh there's there's enough guns that one out of 12 people in the world has a gun the only question that remains is how do we get guns in the in the rest of the 11 people or something yeah. what really bothers me is that people debate gun control in canada but seem to ignore the fact that law-abiding citizens aren't even allowed non-lethal item to defend themselves i have been myself and seen people close to me mugged robbed and assaulted in multiple parts of canada it's a joke i turned into the bad guy because i will carry something to deter people uh Zubra zubrowski i agree with you and pe people people don't realize there is already gun control in canada there's already gun control in the united states it's all a question of degree okay like in canada the police have been militarized as well they try to start riots look into the agent provocateurs during the Montebello protest for the G7 or G20 protest where three police officers dressed as the black bloc with their faces covered with rocks in their hands were trying to start a riot during a peace rally where there's families with baby strollers with kids right crazy crazy and nothing came of it oh austria not austria <laughs> Dante. sorry i read too fast austria wait a second in austria it was uh there was a huge bit, bit of uh, election stuff uh, in the last elections where uh, the the f more right-leaning government was getting into power and there was outside forces influencing it and they lost power so what was the results do we know the results dante no i do like your thoughts on it and i agree okay beans thanks <laughs> lonely piggy that is the naive mindset of the person who feels like he will never be a victim on violent crime race or kill yeah it's not naive to want to feel safe mark mentals how are you doing yep everything is safe and nice until it's not there was a huge scandal with the far right party yeah the government dissolved yeah so the elections happened today how's how is what's the how is it going to go dante far right lost 10 10 percent points conservative remain in power greens gained awesome that's cool I would recommend people pick up the better the better angles of our nature excellent book backed up by a, a boatload of research demonstrating how and why violence as a whole has declined worldwide both in pure numbers and as a share of the population a case man i don't know the wars that are being waged uh, have displaced and killed a lot of people uh, one way we know that they killed a lot of people is because the u.s military stopped collecting the data of the number of civilians that are being killed uh, there's always huge issues with either side yeah love you <laughs> thanks mark 
<laughs> I love you too, brother. <laughs> Hello, Chicho. What's your opinion on people like Milton Friedman? Um, Splotch 13. Okay, Milton Friedman. Uh, I know Milton Friedman. I just can't remember if he was on injecting more money into the system or <laughs> turning off the tap. Can you tell me? Because I there's so many, I'm really bad with names, man. I know people are gonna go. How could you not know what Milton Friedman? Was? What what was the main thesis of Milton Friedman? There needs to be more love in the world and a lot less stress. That mark. Uh, th this is is the main thesis of one of the main thesis and people need to learn mathematics right but one of the main thesis of my work right and one of the ways you can learn to open the doors for a lot of love to enter and for you to give a lot of love is discussion don't shut people off right the first advice you will get from any any uh, advisor, any uh, social worker, it, any psychologist is talk, right? That's the whole point, right? And once you talk, you build empathy, you build understanding. There might be chaos on the way there, right? Number one. I'll read that again. <laughs> there needs to be more love in the world and a lot less stress. And that improves everyone's health as well, right? Reduce your stress, improve your health. It, they go hand in hand. I feel the media points out what's wrong with world rather than what's right. And therefore shaping people's mindsets on how terrible things are rather than how wonderful they can be. 100% agree, Mark. Chicho, what are your thoughts on Bernie Sanders? Um, Bernie, man, I was I was all for Bernie in the build up to the 2016. He, he, it seemed like he had a main thesis, some main points. He was, he was always for for like three decades. He was he was like very much like Dennis Kucinich and Ron Paul, less so than less. less legit than Dennis Kucinich and Ron Paul. Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich were two of the most, I would trust them, I respected them, I honored them, even though I disagree with half their points, right? Not half, that's a quarter of their ideas I disagree with, right? But they were honest, they were authentic. Bernie Sanders less so, right? In the build up to 2016, but as soon as he flipped, right? and said i fully support hillary clinton it's over bernie in my opinion done get away from me right hello everyone political chats are bad signal for me <laughs> if i'm around <laughs> Not like an rock, J -Rod. <laughs> milton was libertarian capitalist who advocated for a very very limited government and free markets i agree with that right ron paul right i agree with it with caveats of course with little asterisks and little disclaimers but i agree with decentralization of power okay which is really limited government that's what it stands for decentralization of power eliminating monopoly licenses okay and dialogue which is free markets open trade right Milton Friedman is a father of neoliberalism. Dante, here's the kicker, right? With Milton Friedman, cringe if you looked at neoliberals right now. I think that philosophy, which is about limited government, decentralization of power, and trade, goes totally against neoliberalism. Neoliberal, neoliberalism is about centralization of power, right? And controlling all markets, right? It's like saying, what you're saying right now, I, I don't know uh, Milton Friedman uh, personally, I never known him, I don't, I haven't, I don't think I've watched too much stuff of him, right? But I look at the main thesis, right? If the main thesis is about 
decentralization of power and trade. I agree with it, right? If we take out a couple of words in your uh, comment saying Milton Friedman is the father of neoliberalism, it's like saying um, born again Christians represent uh, the philosophy of Jesus Christ, which they don't, right? It's a fanaticism, right? Or Wahhabism is the core of Islam, is what Islam stands for, which is not, right? So uh, I, I don't know. The neoliberals, no. The, they've shown whatever they've morphed into. If Milton Friedman started off with the idea, he called it neoliberal. I don't think he did. Uh, he said, oh, this is a neoliberal philosophy. It definitely is not what it is right now. Taco. How are you doing? More love and less stress. That was the philosophy of Karl Marx. <laughs> was it now, King Jerob? Yang, Yang Ri. Beautifully said, Mark Meadows. Beautifully said, Mark Meadows. Agreed with the uh, beans. I quit my uh, chef job and got a uh, job in a kebab place and totally, and today I helped the family move. Nice, Taco. Kebab, kebab. Right, right there with you, Mark. We are more aware of everything in the world than we have ever been. But we're exposed to the bad so much more than the good. There is so much good and we need to find time to celebrate that. Excellent. Very well put, Case Man. I agree with you. Good point, Chicho. No, laugh out loud. He ad advised Thatcher and Reagan. He advised Thatcher and Reagan. Sure. Thatcher and Reagan? Thatcher. Pff, garbage, in my opinion. She had certain things she said, by the way, that came true, right? She was one of the first politicians that said that the euro was going to be a complete failure, right? One of the only politicians, one of the few top politicians in Europe mm -hmm. that said that the European Euro Union, euro, was going to devastate the lifestyle of Europeans, okay, right? And she was right in large part, okay? Uh, Reagan, very bad things. However, during Reagan's watch, we saw the end of the Cold War. Unfortunately, the hardcore neoliberal, neoliberals took over that and there was promises made with, made with Russia, with the Soviet Union, that NATO was not going to expand, but it was never put on paper and NATO expanded, right? So there's good and bad. I'm not a Reagan supporter. I'm not a Thatcher supporter, not by a long shot, especially the just say no crap, right? But if you look at what happened to the United States during Reagan's time and Bush Jr., the, the war criminal, crazy the person that Bernie Sanders praised, right? And then you look at Clinton. What happened to the United States during Clinton's watch? Uh, domestically was a lot worse I think I don't know how everyone doesn't cringe at neoliberals but that's me yeah neoliberals are freaky in fairness Friedman was actually advising the governments that abused neolib yeah Malik and J-Rod but like Marx the actual theory is fine but it put it into practice and a lot of stuff you don't expect happens it's the human factor it's the corruption factor malik and j-rod it's like saying oops it's like saying that uh uh ussr represented communism or represented marxist philosophy it didn't not by a long shot do you think that the future of human civilization will be bright i think so yeah yeah 100 percent. yeah I, I i i think i love dystopian readings movies shows dystopian everything right um by the way uh there's a dystopian show that came out i wa watched it a couple of days ago finished it six episodes came out of uk and there's amazing uk i don't know how they do it right i, I guess uh what do you call it uh, orwell and the like right but the uk comes out with some amazing science fiction and amazing dystopian sci-fi right but uh, years after years or years and years it's a six episode uh, mini series right 
years years and years with nice dystopian i don't agree with the ending uh, the ending was too sweet right oh sorry i'm giving away spoilers but it was good today i got to use the kebab machete <laughs> nice taco don't hurt yourself those kebab makers are crazy and the kebab metal skewers are you using those Thatcher, a broken clock it rice right twice a day yeah. yeah Thatcher was psycho Thatcher was brutal brutal Reagan helped collapse the Soviet Union and drive millions of Russians and Eastern Europeans into poverty uh, the Soviet Union was not in good shape Dante really the Soviet Union was not in good shape neither were a majority of people that were living under its rule even the hardcore communists agree with that Reagan also introduced the evangelical wing yeah to the Republican and start the war on drugs yeah oh Nick I agree with you just say no and the and the evangelical wing uh, came out um, I looked at this history and odd Nick when I was young and foolish when I was young and foolish I knew that there was more to this world than what we were being taught in school and different things and when I was under the influence of centralized power, I went the direction of born again Christian, right? For a time, you could categorize me as that light, okay? So I know a lot about what happened during that period. Uh, scary, okay? And the born again Christian movement is the is really the Zionist born again Christian movement that is pushing for all our war it's it's nasty there's amazing love in there there's amazing love in there really there's amazing love within certain religious centers of power through their demographic right but the power wow man what they do with those good intentions and love and the well-meaning people and innocent people what they do with their support is horrendous 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 right cross cross and that's one of the reasons i'm so skeptical of skeptical skeptical of centralized power i learned my lesson that is that is what life is supposed to be about we got to learn our lessons right krugel sat put up a great video on how it benefits everyone when you help everyone else out because they become less dependent by having resources to better themselves worthwhile Cru crucial uh mark can you post that uh, uh, video in uh, in our discord page uh that'd be great brother if you could do that that'd be fantastic i don't know who chris gunt is i don't think i do anyway i can't put the face to the name also the iran contra affair yeah and by the way dante reagan i don't believe reagan was a bad person per se right but reagan was not the big guy that called everything did everything it was bush right bush senior bush senior the bush family has been manipulating and controlling u.s politics for decades for decades like people regard the United States as a democracy it's not a democracy not by a long shot it's an oligarchy in large part is a plutocracy it's a corporate socialism it's it's all these things like just imagine the Bush family this dynasty has been in the central role of ruling the United States of America since the 1960s Bush senior was ahead of the CIA right just imagine how is that possible is that democratic that's that's the furthest thing you can get away with. you you could be from democracy right so a lot of things that happened under Reagan it wasn't Reagan it was Bush senior and the neocons and the Evan evangelical the born-again movement right 
No one calls themselves neoliberal. Neoliberal was defined by being in opposition to how things worked before the 1980s in the Western world. Today, that would that would make the entire establishment neoliberal. Would it? Race or kill? Yeah, cool. Thanks for the perspective, historical perspective on that. People like money and power, and once they get a taste, they want more. It's like an addiction. Yeah, but I wouldn't say all people taco. I, I've known many people that uh, would not. Uh, even though the more centralization you get, the more um, possibility of corruption. Maybe we should say many people like money and power, and once they get uh, the taste they want, it's like an addiction. Yeah. Hi, Chicho. Hope you're well, brother. Wade, how are you doing? Doing well, brother. Thank you very much. Wait, what's the name of the British dystopian show you're talking about? Years and years. Oddmic, you will love it. Okay, I have issues with it. Like there were a little bit discrepancies. There is definitely political bias there. Like there's, there's some disinformation programming that goes with the BBC sort of type of news reporting and stuff like that. But as far as dystopian goes, it's really good. Years and years, just six episodes. We use the big ones, 75 CM. Talk about, I don't know what those are. Years and years, it's on HBO. Is it HBO? Uh, but is it, it is a British series. Dante, and yet they were worse off after the fall. It uh, took like 10 years just to get back to the living standards before the fall. So Dante, after the fall of the Soviet Union, why was specifically Russia in such a horrendous shape? First of all, a system that was governing the whole nation for a number of decades collapsed. Second of all, Wall Street took control of Russia and looted it. Just look into what happened to the U.S., uh, to Russia under Yeltsin, who was controlling Yeltsin, what was happening with the Western bankers on Wall Street, and how much the living standard had collapsed in Russia, hence giving rise to Putin. Right? Reagan increased the military budget, ramped up American imperialism, and his tax cuts for the rich ballooned the debt. Agreed, Dante. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Agreed. Reagan was not good definitely not the last semi good like out of all the presidents since from the 1970s all the way up i would say carter was more human than the rest right or understand understood empathy and had a had an ounce of decency right it varies the Baltic states got better almost immediately, but Russia got worse for like 10 years and only got back to 1990 living standards by 2008. Yeah, and Racer Kill, Russian standard of living keeps on improving. Russia right now has a way better standard of living than it has had for decades upon decades, like a long, long time, right? Some people would say ever. Oh, no, haha, <laughs> Chicho was a born again Christian, never would have thought that. Bob Dylan was a born again Christian for a while too. Admic, that was the period that for me, slow train coming. I have the album here. <laughs> Where's my slow train coming? I don't know where it is. Uh, Admic, that, if, uh, by the way, I still, I, I still say that Bob Dylan's A Slow Train Coming, that album that he put out, was one of his best work. I think it was very good. Okay. I've seen I've seen Amy Grant, Petra, Res Band. Uh, I wish I saw Keith Green. I never saw Keith Green. Uh, I saw I saw a number of Christian uh, Christian bands. I still kept the metal feel though, right? Sometimes the fastest way to figure out who we are is by first being what we are not. I mean, Reagan was an actor, so it wouldn't surprise me if he just let his advisors run everything. Yeah, but again, those advisors would be would be people like Friedman. Those advisors 
were people like uh, Cheney and Rumsfeld because they were it was Bush senior that was running the whole show really Malik and J-Rod US is absolutely in order of Garkey the Democratic Party of it is like deciding if you're going to drink Pepsi or Coke both corporate products and neither are good for it yeah I agree it's funny I went to a Lutheran private school as a kid and it drove me away from religion but now as an adult living in a non-religious country I started to uh, rediscover my spirituality life is weird life is weird odd night and I went to a Catholic school for a while too <laughs> Bernie is a bottle of home-brewed kombucha in Malik's metaphor <laughs> with bad sugar man processed sugar not organic sugar Malik and Jerry Rod. in terms of neoliberalism the issue with it is that it is detached from the historical context of what life was like before two absolutely massive wars World War one plus two which turned the whole world into the into a production arms race overnight we never readjusted our economy to be about anything other than uh, productivity that's why we are we as a society tend to hate people who don't work in traditional jobs before there were people whose job it was to sit and figure out things we call them philosophers Malik and J-Rod dude I, I agree for with with your uh, sentiment on this right it, like I've been a contractor most of my life like 30 years right basically from university right I've only worked full-time for any corporation after university for two years of my life right this is 30 years we're talking about almost 30 years and I've had friends turn to me and say I never work because they have a nine-to-five job <laughs> I'm like I look at him I don't argue the thing but for me I work all the time but I love what I do so it doesn't seem like work to me it's just my lifestyle and they hate what they do so it's work to them because they work from nine to five the mentality is programming for a centralized education system right very weird oh cool or start watching it and yeah looks like it's on HBO awesome I hope you like it all and let me know what you think or let us know what you think right I have a signed copy of one of Jim Jimmy Carter's books big hero for my dad yeah you know what even though he made mistakes even though uh, the overthrow of Shah occurred under his watch because he didn't really understand what was what the deep state was doing behind him right uh, he understood towards the end where when the helicopters that were sent to free the free the uh, free the American hostages were shot down and later on rumors came out as why that helicopter was shot down and how come the American hostages were not released because Bush senior met with the Iranians in year in in Europe and asked them to hold American citizens hostage for 100 plus more days until Reagan got elected right and car there was a lot going on man but Jimmy Carter man if I had to pick a president oh man I need to get lucky at a yard sale to pick up a record collection I'd love to have more of Dylan stuff yeah I haven't you know what record the record collections I've gone through a few on yard sale stuff I've never seen a Bob Dylan uh, record in there I don't know why you think Friedman and Cheney disagree on any significant issue or Rumsfeld or Bush senior for that matter uh, I I don't think because Cheney Rumsfeld and Bush believed in centralization of power more power to the government I'm pretty sure that goes against what Friedman was preaching like seriously I haven't read hardcore Friedman I might have read some passages and stuff right I haven't delved into his books I just know the main theory through Ron Paul through secondary sources that we're talking about decentralization of power we're removing monopoly licenses and trade right 
Cheney, Rumsfeld, and Bush definitely do not believe in decentralization power. Um, oh, the other two <laughs> and the other two, right? They don't, not by their actions. Not to mention Alan Greenspan. Alan Greenspan, what a schmuck, right? Alan Greenspan is just a, what a disgusting creature, right? What Democrat? Twitch unfollowed me. Twitch unfollowed you from my channel? From here? Little crunch crunchies. <laughs> I have a friend who once got lucky and found a new Javas record in the store. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been seen. And it was uh, like all my stuff is I, I probably might have a CD or two, but digital and neither did Friedman and neither did Friedman. I don't know why, uh, which part uh, neither did Friedman. Do you help with economics with financial literacy? I have my own uh, ace cheese. I have my own personal finance videos up. Uh, I don't think it's the same. Well, to a certain degree, it is. Some of the stuff overlaps with what they teach in economics and financial literacy and stuff, for sure. But I don't know if I'm using the right terminology. It, what I share uh, in regards to economics and personal finance is what I've learned over the last few decades, running my own businesses, multiple corporations. Um, some fail, not successful. <laughs> Right, the comic book stuff and whatnot, but basically what I've learned and how I've come to be here, right? So, but there are stuff that we talk about, return on investment and all that jazz. I think what Dante is getting at is that Friedman and others like him were certain, uh, um, certainly for taking power from the government, but then giving it to corporations who who ran the likes of Bush, etc. The idea that those bodies are less corrupt or more uh, or more merit based than government was sadly a pipe dream and yes green I, I agree with you it was a pipe dream because those people went into government and passed laws to benefit the corporation so they were centralizing power they were they betrayed freedmen if it was that's what we can call it right and yes greaseman is absolutely a horrible little goblin who has been uh, present in every U.S. administration for what feels like 10, what is that, a million years. Yeah, yeah, Malik and J-Rod, I agree. Friedman didn't believe in decentralization of power. He literally just advocated wealth redistribution to the rich. Pretty much what Malik said. Well, Malik, uh, yeah, but basically Bush, uh, from what I understand, Friedman believed that the government should have less power. Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld went into government and they acquired more power to make it for easier for corporations to do what it is that they're doing, right? So they regulatory captured the government, right? So they betrayed the philosophy of less government, right? So if that's the node we're looking at, then they're traitors to the cause, right? Kebab is a meat beef or chicken, oh, or lamb, uh, or lamb on a split spinning and thinly sliced and put in a burn or a tortilla and added, uh, added sauce, spices and vegetables. Uh, are we talking about heroes? Giros, if you want to call it, or chicken, uh, chicken, uh, sharmas. That's what you're working on now, taco. So they're sharma. They're not the kebabs where you put them on skewers and cook them up. You're talking about the rotary stuff where they have the heat in the background, it's going like this, and you're using this thing going collecting the meat. Dante, he did. If you believe that, simply take power from the government you are decentralizing the issue is who you then give the power to 
or what regulatory barriers you put in place to prevent your own citizens from acquiring more power through trade. Any unregulated capitalistic market is going to lead to centralization of power as every market becomes an actual monopoly or monopoly in practice. Could be. I know there are some. There are some. The comic distribution industry is one of them. There are distributor wars, and right now, Diamond Distributors has a monopoly of distributing comic books to the hobby shops, right? The comic book stores. I know what you can buy. I know you can buy New Japan's records online, but they're super expensive. Spiritual state is several hundred dollars. Oof. Oof. If I had enough money, I'd collect every single Mujabas album in as good of a shape as I could, and then I would buy a listening copy. <laughs> listen to them. That would be in my permanent collection forever. Right. Is this the score server you are introduced? Uh, introduce yourself about the topics you do on Twitch and gain more viewers, followers. Yeah, Ace Cheese, we don't allow whisper to you the discord invite okay okay thanks uh ace cheese but uh, yeah we don't allow the things uh, the links yes rotary meat cool now nah, that's regarding the kebabs now nah, i wanted a jiro's heroes yeah they're delicious friedman didn't believe in regulation that's the point but there's tremendous amount of right so that's why cheney rumsfeld and uh bush are traitors because they brought in tremendous amount of regulation centralization of power the redistribute uh like just regulation on a political front look at the uh, patriot act right controlling the citizens of a country the re the re the redistribute to the rich idea comes from the fallacy that everyone who is rich got there th uh through merit got there through merit which is again not actually true didn't get there i got the merit the fact is you need some kind of regulation of power which is capital which is capital in today's system it's why nothing gets done about several major issues because those with massive capital don't see anything wrong with today's system and they are in charge of taking action on basically everything math and j-rod i agree with you because the corporations run our governments right now in Canada in the United States and the Western world and other parts of the world the corporations are the government right in the West in here the corporations run the government there's still possibility of changing that in certain other parts of the world the government is the corporation that runs everything such as China he just wanted a market-based free-for-all okay. Friedman was the invisible hand guy right i think he coined that term. ah yeah that's right i think so too the invisible hand of the markets which didn't work out the way he envisioned it that's for sure do you support joe by <laughs> no <laughs> sam you kidding me adam smith originated the term oh was it adam smith that originated the term the invisible hand but yeah friedman used it to justify his wealth redistribution program gotcha thanks dante okay awesome thanks for that dante they cut economic regulation and increased the military and police powers um, they cut the economic regulation for the corporations and power so they're handing out monopolies right they're preventing disruptive innovation from rising that's what they're doing they're handing out corporate uh, taxpayer money to these large corporations may it be through the military may it be through agriculture uh, education or whatever it is right <laughs> no i'm not a bernie supporter so <laughs> if tulsi gabbard was running as an independent I would say Tulsi Gabbard, but she's in the Democratic Party, so no. Or anyone in the Republican Party, no. 
I'm the token Bernie bro here. <laughs> Think. Hi, Chicho, how are you doing? Hope I've not missed too much. Cornelian cherry liqueur. I picked the Cornelian cherries and I made liqueur out of this about two to three weeks ago. And I shot the video. I still haven't got to editing it yet. Cornelian cherry liqueur. The main thing you missed. And of course, the conversation. We still like, we still like Bernie Bros, case man. Trying to explain to people who, who, uh, who slam marks, who slam marks, but Hale Smith, that they basically both have the same issue and uh, is hard. Marks equals. So marks equals. Thanks, Malik and J Rod. I'm going to read this. Marks equals. We need to set up a perfect government to regulate everyone. Assumes government cannot be corrupted. Smith equals. We need to be run by those with the highest wealth because they are the smartest and will make the best decisions assumes corporations rich people can't be corrupted yeah the funny thing is they were both right and both wrong yeah yo what's up chicho sleepy waves how's it going chicho i made strawberry liqueur the other day with brown processed sugar it looks weird <laughs> uh, like all the sugar is in the bottom and the strawberries lost their color yeah the strawberries go a little pale now what you need to do is hopefully you made it in a jar like this which is sealed just turn it upside down give it a shake give it a shake where all the sugar starts going down and once you see just clear glass in the bottom turn it upside down again but put it straight up again right and then what happens is um and you know don't put it in the fridge because the sugar is not gonna dissolve right uh, put it on the windowsill if you get some sun so it heats up the temperature a little bit hopefully you're not in like living in an extremely hot place because you don't want pressure to build up to crack anything or whatnot but give it room temperature should be good enough so the sugar dissolves you're gonna see the amount of sugar decrease a little bit at the bottom right a fair bit maybe possibly all of it dissolve if it doesn't do it again until it all dissolves But the strawberries are going to taste amazing, super strong. My favorite mar modern Marxist is Richard Wolf, who I have recommended to Chicho and folks here before. His lectures are great if you're uh, interested in modern interpretation of Marxist critique. Yeah, Caseman, I've been following uh, Richard Wolf for a long time. I like a lot of things he says. I disagree immensely with some of the other things he says. Okay. There's certain things he said that I totally disagree with because that is complete centralization of power. The fruit is going to lose its color regardless. Yeah. Mr. Hiyakaze. How are you doing? Hiyakaze. I gotta read that again. Hezikaya. Hezikaya. Damn. I com completed in my first kickboxing match Friday after nearly two months of hard training. Time for some ASMR. And a Bill Hicks break. Tank, enjoy your ASMR and a long Bill Hicks break. Bill Hicks breaks are the best. I gotta do one of those soon. Grats, Tank. That's awesome. How did you do, by the way, Tank? How did you place? Was it what you expected? You must have taken some hits, man. Case, man. You have touched on the most important thing one has, one has to do with reading Marx. Understand that uh, that he was a uh, C R I T I C critic. Critic. He wasn't particularly well known or respected for knowing how anything should be fixed, but he was brilliant at pointing out what was wrong. Cool. Absolutely. We need more people pointing at the problems and discussing how we should move forward. Uh -huh. Ah, doing good, Mr. Hezekiah. GTG, guys. My wee girl just turned one uh, this weekend, 
and she has decided to abandon her upbringing as a proper Scottish lassie and get her daddy to sit with her watching Teletubbies. <laughs> Hilarious. Teletubbies are crazy. I watched a little bit of Teletubbies back in the day, being around them. Talk about psychedelic in a weird kind of way. Hey, Malik, like, cheers. Yeah, cheers on the one year anniversary for sure. The birthday. One year. In two years, you're going to be chasing after them and trying not to swear in front of them. Maybe you're doing that right now. The fight was a draw. We got uh, we got fight of the night though. Oh really? As it was a real battle. By the end, my limbs felt like they were moving through uh, treacle. The fitness really is on a completely different level than anything I've experienced. Wow, cool tank. That is cool. That's serious, man. I tr did a little bit of boxing training myself, but very little, just very little. Skipping rope, that builds up your adrenaline. Just do it on very, on sort of wooden floor that bounces so you don't destroy your knees. And punching bags and stuff. Kickboxing though, man, that's another level. And competing. Yes, everyone that makes children's TV is higher than, uh, higher than ISIS. Is higher than ISS. Good night, people. Good night, Malik and J-Rod. Enjoy the Teletubbies. And your daughter's company, of course, right? Cherish it, cherish it. Goes by fast. I think Wolf's call to action uh, to democratize workspaces is great. That, yeah, case mine, I agree with that. Empower the workers. That's one of the first places we need to go, right? Take power away from Wall Street over the corporations. Oh, look at this. We're going to ban you. I'm straight up banning, brother. Hey, what happened? What is this? Oh, nice. Thanks, Dante. You're way quicker on it than me. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's good. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I was trying to copy his name and ban at the same time. It wasn't working. International Space Station. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Malik. What is scientific socialism? I don't know. Worker, worker own means of production. Decisions, decisions making by the laborers and not the shareholders. Yeah. Boss move, case man says, definitely. You can right click on a name and type out or ban without typing. Really, right click on a name. Okay, next one I'm gonna try. I've tried that before, but it never works. Right click. Yeah, it doesn't work on mine. Do you have to highlight? <laughs> I'm cute in an elderly man kind of way. <laughs> Thanks. Nice to nice to receive love. I chew ice every now and then. Not a good idea. A window should pop out and you can slide between ban and timeout. Oh okay. For me, when I do it, when I click on someone's name, it says friend and something else. I'll look into it again uh, later. Void hook. Remember the raid? Area 51 thing I said a couple of weeks ago when 2 million protests were supposed to go there. A whopping 200 people. Yeah, it was just a meme that had come up from the top down than anything. Distraction. Distraction. No one that I, no forums that I was going to, any, anyone seriously wanted to attend to that or anything like this. It was just some kind of meme that people forwarded. Like no one was really going 
There's way bigger issues. How about Epstein? There's a rumor that the company I work for is going to be sold to a private firm uh, from a publicly traded company. I am really curious how that is going to affect the work we do. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, downsizing big time. Case man, uh, know your position in the company. In the move, know who's buying it out, what their plans are, what they've done in the past. But whenever one company buys another company, they try to get synergy going between the two companies and there's major layoffs in the company that they're buying as well as the company that's doing the buying, right? So there's going to be major restructuring. Uh, if you had stock in the private company, the, the odds are that stock is worth, they're going to be paying a lot more for it, right? Uh, unless the company is doing crap and, you know, whatever it is. But the odds are there's going to be serious restructuring if not totally uh, taken it apart. Or maybe that's just a atom. I'm not sure actually. Right click, not left click. If I left click, it says add friends gift hub. If I right click, I just have my regular computer thing that pops up that says save page as, save page to pocket select all and stuff nothing from twitch comes up why is jeff pizzo's a lapdog how is he controlled by the oligarchy uh sleepy waves if he didn't do exactly what the u.s government which is really whoever is running the u.s government it's not trump it's, or obama or Bush, it's the talking heads right uh, if he doesn't do exactly what the u.s government tells him to do he won't be around right so when they want everyone's data they want everyone's data right? he'll he'll do whatever he has he is told he will not make a stand right for example uh lava lava bit that was a email server that uh people had emails on and they subscribed to it it was all totally private encrypted and stuff like this right when the u.s government went to lava lava bit i think it was called lava bit with they actually came up again they have private email encrypted and stuff that they offer last time i checked anyway when the u.s government went to them and said we want the keys to everything we want access to all the emails that everyone's handed out everyone's email so we can run through nsa he said no he allowed he said no to the end they tried to take him to court they tried to put him in jail he said no this isn't jeff bezos this is lava i forget his name uh, lava something was based on his name the current company he wasn't a laptop he said no i'll close my company and he didn't he closed his company and he started up another company be right back got to got to put the leftover food in the fridge nice i hope you had good food okay then that feature must be part of a third party add-on okay i gotta look into that I was wondering how you guys were able to ban so quick. <laughs> Type ban and stuff. There's a new raid idea going on. It's called Raid the Vatican. Many people here in the, the where is the internet going these days? Sheesh. Yeah. I mean, Raid the Vatican? I saw some Raid the Vatican people saying, Raid Area 51, what are you guys talking about? If you want to raid anywhere where there's a lot of secrets, Raid the Vatican go downstairs in the basements and see what skeletons literally there are in the closets and the books and the archives that i would be more interested in personally do you think fortran is creating a new and upcoming generation of right wingers um i, I don't search for fortran i've read images on fortran i don't i don't think so that's like saying do you think the internet is creating a whole bunch of right wingers it's creating a whole bunch of left wingers. It's creating a whole bunch of no thinkers, right? Fortran is just a platform. Do you think, my Papa? Okay, that. that. What are you snacking on? Looks in it. It's uh, it's like uh, cereal, but it's like organic grain, no sugar added. 
it's like or I don't know there is there might be cane sugar in there it's like organic organic like crunchy cereal I just enjoy the crunch and it tastes as good and it's like um, heritage or heirloom um, grains and stuff the Vatican is a well known for being a pedophile ring yeah Tyler agreed who knows how deep this shit goes a member of the royal royal was recently exposed as being a pedophile yeah Epstein Epstein royal family Wall Street government uh, bankers Hollywood the Vatican just connect them all up as Stanley Kubrick said, has been alleged to have said uh, during the shooting of Eyes Wide Shut, according to Nicole Kidman, he, she said that Kubrick told her, pedophiles run the world. Right? At the very least, the internet has made political discourse more insular. You can live in a bubble a lot easier. Yeah, and you could your bubble can be burst a lot easier too, Avnik. That's the that's the beauty of the internet, right? Those people who willingly put themselves in a bubble, I have zero sympathy for them, right? I have zero patience for them. I'm specifically talking about people who only get their news through Facebook links and stuff like this, right? When I talk with them, you can tell what kind of a bubble they live in, right? And you explain to them that the news that they're getting is completely 100% censored and they defend it, I just go ballistic on them, right? Like really, I just go ballistic on them. So I have zero sympathy for those people who only stay on platforms because they feel safe to get their news, right? 100%, they're living in a bubble. They should not be in my dictatorial world if I was a dictator. They shouldn't even be allowed to vote. Which I would never do, but if I was a dictator, right, I would, okay? But the internet allows everyone to do research and find information. The reason that a lot of these bubbles exist is because of our education system. Because people are too used to being fed information instead of searching for information, right? I... Organic Cheerios. Organic Cheerios. <laughs> Passion outlets. Yeah, and perps. 100% agree. Fortran isn't isn't Paul slash Paul. I don't know what the proper way to say that is, right? It's just not the politics forum. Fortran has many forums. I mean, the Paul thread is uh, particular. Yeah, crazy how nobody talking about Epstein anymore. Crazy Dante. Really insane insane no one talking about Epstein anymore no one talking about Assange anymore right what's going on oh there's some 16 year old giving a speech at the UN saying my world you guys have destroyed my world it's not even our world right they what and the corporate media is all behind it people going million people mark two million people so many people, million people marching because their world is being destroyed like, not that it's environmental awareness is not a bad thing but hey the one of the key nodes to a world of the powerful all of a sudden was opened and closed gone right and the one person that we know of right that is a political prisoner okay the one person that has revealed more about the secrets of centralized power than any other human being in history that's julian assange with wikileaks built the platform that has revealed more about the secrets of the powerful than any other human being in history not being talked about 
or barely being talked about and when being talked about they're they're talking about him as the villain not the hero what a tw if you're watching any news source that is attacking julian assange personally and calling him a villain you are being programmed turn off that boob tube or get off that website and do some real research you are <laughs> if you were here telling me that i tear you a new one right just letting you know don't willingly put yourself in a bubble and be a completely ignorant human being oh wow this thing went way down I gotta scroll way down. It's only been like a month, but the world moves so fast and new things happen all the time that we just forget. You're assuming all of Fortran has poly ideas, which isn't the case. If you weren't new, you would know the rest of the boards hate Paul political fortune and the most heinous crime crimes go unpunished and the most heinous crimes go unpunished yeah fortran is fine aside from paul and int and b how can we begin to protect our information online what are some tools you use so far i've been using DuckDuckGo, sigil yeah i use DuckDuckGo. i use stop script blo ad blocks um https um, I don't know if the, how much that protects you um, th there's a few other add-ons you can put on there and different things have multiple different accounts uh, change up your password change up your usernames uh, th there's a lot of different things you can do but we can't really protect ourselves from the NSA right if we're active online right unless you have major uh, you know you can use Tor networks and stuff like this but unless you have major take some major steps right the best way to do this is by the way you know Julian Assange and a lot of pe other people said is by design through the mathematics of it not through legislation uh, yeah we can only protect ourselves so much Jesus fed information and searching infos was just a wise statement well you're as woke fed information and searching <laughs> I don't know if I'm woke. I just I'm, I'm a skeptic on uh, I question centralized power. Well, the climate issue is the most pressing one by far. It is extremely pressing, but the climate issue is not separate from all the other issues. They are one. If people separate the climate issue with militarism, with colonialism, with re extra resource extraction, the climate issue goes nowhere. It gets it gets centralized it gives central power central capital more power right like no one's talking about the united states dropping depleted uranium in iraq for two decades that's the radioactive dust that's spread everywhere right people aren't talking about uh monoculture by agribusiness uh, that's it's military you know it's enforcement uh, branches the u.s military the climate issue i i totally disagree with rhetoric being the main discourse right now people aren't talking about solutions and going past the one level of consciousness which is we have a serious climate issue right they're saying oh we have a serious climate issue and then what they do most people are saying we want central power to pass laws to deal with the climate issue but the centralized power is the one that got us in this this place right if a doctor that you've been seeing right you've been foolish enough to trust for a number of decades keep keeps on doing operations of, on you and you, you lose your arm you, you you lose your eye you you lose your leg and you're a cripple and you can barely talk and you're are you going to keep on going back to this doctor to get an operation they're crazy it's like brazil where that 
the mother of the main guy was getting plastic surgery from the same person. Finally, she became like a big thing. It's crazy. It's a big cover up at a deep state. They're all Beatles, like them all. Tyler, I agree with you. Yeah, thanks, Dante, for allowing that. <laughs> Julian is the hero of the people. He's a true hero. Tyler, he's a true hero. Man. I think the discussion about Assange is over because there are so many other news and so much happening. Uh, Penguin, I agree with you, but I think it's also because the central centralized uh, powers, the propagandists, will not talk about him, right? It's censorship as well. It's not just that the news cycle is very rapid right now, a lot of things are going on. It's because it's censored. Who is it censored by? By so-called the news sources that people follow, the corporate propagandists or the government profit centralized propagandists, right? People need to stop watching that crap, take their power away. Mainstream media is indoctrinated, the uh, gullible masses. Tyler, I agree. I wouldn't say DuckDuckGo is any better than Google, honestly. It's a little bit better. It's a step in the right direction. Julian Assange is not a hero. And that's from a source of knowledge, not a bubble. Not sure how anyone could praise Assange and trash Greta uh, Thorne. Passion Atlas, Assange, what he has done is orders of magnitude, orders of magnitude, more powerful than what Greta Th uh, Thornberg is doing or has done. Orders of magnitude. Assange provided the platform for whistleblowers to reveal what power capital was doing around the globe. Putting Assange and Greta in the same category is ridiculous. Okay. Greta is a 16 year old that is has i feel for greta really i feel for greta i've been there right i've been there okay where centralized power starts manipulating and controlling right assange has not been controlled by central power if anything he has opposed central power and this provided us tools an avenue for us to take that power away from these central institutions. Greta is centralizing power. They're opposites. They're opposites. <laughs> Avoid Chicho 2020. F. Trudeau. Have you looked into the Barcelona Declaration of 1995? It's a pact between the EU and North Africa and Middle Eastern nations to import millions of people that don't need to assimilate to Western areas. Tyler, I haven't looked into that, but that is definitely what the EU countries, the centralized power was doing, right? They needed that influx. And one of the ways they did this was to destroy a certain number of nations, right? Why are Europeans not pissed off, pissed at their governments why aren't those people who instigated this in jail people should know what the government does and this is coming from someone who respects Greta agreed I don't know. look Greta is a 16 year old I've dealt with enough 16 year olds in my whatever decades a couple of decades of working with high school kids to know that I respect I I appreciate the conversation I have with 16 year olds in general a lot more than I do with a lot of adults that I have because the 16 year olds are in the forefront of technology of of what the centralized power is doing through education and stuff like this right and they have their own ideas they haven't been totally broken down yet right I have tremendous respect for and appreciation for my conversations with the youth that I that I have had over the last two decades however however I have not ever met a teenager that one of their core beliefs it's not propaganda filled okay I've never met it 
uh, have I met any adults on that front? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh man, my my chat keeps on kicking me up to the front top, so I keep on missing some stuff. Shout out to Terry. Uh, Gilliam Brazil is a masterpiece Brazil is a masterpiece people talk about 1980 1984 and uh, um, Huxley's uh, I forget Huxley's book Brazil is very much on the forefront of where we are right now right free Lula Sleepy waves, free Lula, free Mubia, right? In one way, you have to give it to Greta because she stands up for something she believes in, 100%. But you should never blindly trust what someone say, no matter who they are. Question what is being said instead. Greta is backed by a man named Bo Thorin. You can find information about her. And Greta she's reading stats right oh, this is happening this is happening this is happening this is happening where's she getting those stats does she even understand the science behind the statistics has she looked at the graphs does she understand the mathematics of it i'm sorry a 16 year old that uh, central power is pushing on us does not represent the climate movement I did environmental work in the 90s for 10 years as a geophysicist. First person, as far as I know, that had environmental geophysicists as their business card, right? And I disagree. Just Google it. The UK government deny it, but there is plenty of evidence to support it. I'd like to know the source as well. This is about the 1995. Uh, agreement i am very skeptical of such claims that they use forcefully importing immigrants who hate white people yeah i don't think they're forcefully importing immigrants who hate white people they're i think what they did intentionally was destroy certain certain nations uh, to have an influx of people coming in thanks dante burden of proof buddy burden of proof agreed you'll have to google it union for the mediterranean this is what comes up when i google barcelona declaration 1995 point me to the to the no need to assimilate is she getting any of the stats wrong I, I, you know what she was spewing data like i watched a little bit of her UN speech that she did it was a UN wherever it was where she's sitting down and having a tamper tantrum like just freaking the f out her. first of all if that was my child I'd go slap anyone that's that's managing her silly right I would take her home and create an environment where this poor girl is not traumatized right that she's going through puberty there's wiring happening here right so I I, I watched about 10 five minutes of it or what I don't know how long it was and I turned it off I couldn't it was it was very disturbing to me really it was very disturbing to me uh, one reason maybe because I've seen kids like I, I've worked with kids because this is being pushed through centralized education that are traumatized they're in shock right sometimes I talk with them I've had kids start freaking out shaking going the world's gonna die the world's gonna die the, the we're running out of water I can't like they're having t they're freaking out right and I have to calm them down and say ah listen chill relax don't and I work with them and get them into a state where they're not in panic mode but they're open to learning when i saw gretchen i've seen kids in person like this not good not good i mean i don't want to give too much credit to a 16 year old reading stats but it's more than 
what the majority of people are capable of, to be honest. But Dante, I agree with you. I feel for her. That's why I like interacting with the youth. I love teaching, right? Because the passion in the youth is amazing. Really, it's intoxicating. People ask me what motivates me. My kids motivate me, right? The kids that I work with motivate me, really. I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't do what I do, right? Uh, teaching mathematics, right? However, motivation, uh, you know, what's the saying? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. It is. Stats are weird. You can tweak it to benefit your ideology you want to spread. Uh, sticks are man, 100% agree. I did a lot of uh, stats and geophysics. Well, pretty much every climate I touch is agrees on it. Uh, Dante, I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is there are cycles, okay? And right now, I do not, I'm, I'm a skeptic. I do not believe all the stats that they're spewing. Like one of the things, they put Al Gore a couple of decades ago, 15 years ago, as the front man for climate change, saving the climate. Al Gore. Al Gore. What? I don't support any anything that any centralized institution is pushing if it has Al Gore if it's a front man speaker, right? Usually things happen for many reasons not just one or two stats can be brought in from three reasons but neglect the other 10 reasons just because it benefits what you want to highlight yeah and variables might not be accounted for it happens on a daily basis i agree with you that we're going through some serious environmental issues uh, climate change sure climate change 100 the causes the effects uh, the data how fast Dude, she has a right to be upset. The basis for our livelihood is being stripped away. Dante, I agree with you 100%. But the state that she's in is very destructive. It's, it's in panic mode. It's fear-based. And if you do any discipline that when it comes to doing any martial arts, when it comes to doing any self-preservation techniques or anything like this, it, even in... in uh, in education, one of the first things you have to eliminate from people is fear, right? Because fear puts up blockers, right? Panic. You have to get rid of that to share information, for that information to be absorbed properly, for people to make heads or tails out of this stuff. What's being propagated right now is total fear. I'm against fear. It's exactly what was being propagated for the 2016 elections in the United States. It was fear. I disagree with that great video recently posted by youtuber potholer about the geology and climate change uh, that has very good science wouldn't you be uh, would it be uh, profound pro profound powerful I guess if your child gave a UN speech not in that state no uh, my first priority for uh, if I have kids uh, for youth in my family is to protect to protect the mental emotional spiritual well-being of that life not to put them in a crisis mode where there's this much pressure on them okay uh, no i would not be proud if i had my if greta was my i wouldn't be proud of myself i would i would i would be ashamed well i'm looking forward to your data analysis i'm mad as fuck too yeah dante me too brother regarding the environment i was mad as fuck in the 1990s really i was so pissed i couldn't believe what we're what we had done to the environment watching it firsthand i'll be working the whole night to provide you my data analysis at this point 
It's just considered a conspiracy theory. It's just word of mouth, like the deep state pedo conspiracy. The German government said Germans will be a minority within the next century, and that's a that's a good thing. Bear in mind, Germany is a major leader of the European. Uh, Tyler, what do you mean, Germany? Uh, Germans will be a minority. Do you consider anyone born in Germany to be a German citizen? Personally, where you're born should be your citizenship. That's my take. Okay, your ancestry different. You know your heritage different, but that should not make you uh, put up barriers on you accepting other heritages, other other cultures, and showing respect. Okay, so no proof then. Good to know, Tyler. I can weird how people just just dish out words and not even know what they mean yeah like barcelona declaration 1995 and not even follow up with anything the dante i agree with you tyler if there's anything that they've actually signed for sure quoted if there's videos that you have for sure go to our discord and uh, put it up like legit links and by the way um, wiki is not uh, wikipedia is not the end all and be all of political research as well right uh, check out paul joseph watson oh i know paul joseph watson he's on youtube his videos about the mass indoctrination of german people is really important paul joseph watson uh, the name's familiar i don't know if i agree with him or disagree with him that's the that's how i am with names right so all you've got for me is youtube hacks this this your level of discourse yeah it's like people who uh quote me uh, I'm with Dante on this one. Uh, people who quote me, true. There's a couple of guys that have, you know, 100, 900,000 subscribers. True. There's a bald guy that talks a lot. Uh, they've linked up his stuff a lot. Uh, he's a bald guy and he talks true. I forget his name, right? I listened to a couple of his videos. Dude, the guy's so full of pseudo intellectual that he has he has some data his research he's done but his 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 understanding of the things man so biased this man is has over one million subs and has exposed government lies and conspiracy theories just because they've done some things that reveal certain truth doesn't mean everything they say is true okay that's really important tyler that's really important there's a lot of hyperbole around the climate change conversation. Like there is no evidence that climate change is creating an uptick in natural disasters, i.e. climate change. Some people argue that we're going into an ice age. And like, possibly. Paul Joseph Watson has gotten so many things wrong. I no longer see him as an unbiased or, okay, I got to look up this guy's face for me to jump into this conversation i don't okay let me look up this guy's face oh this guy jeebus <laughs> no i've listened to some of the things he said some of his videos but yeah the guys i caught him with some serious bs as well man you can't take him as the end all and be all of everything has been thoroughly debunked and critiqued he is not a good source he is not a good source like he doesn't even come in fourth tier category of trying to find something out <laughs> <laughs> sorry tyler i'm laughing but it is it is laughable i'm guessing you're pretty young but learn what uh fallacies are yeah thanks odmik right now you're using an appeal to authority having one million sub does <laughs> one more right <laughs> seems to me like Phil Paul Joseph Watson just rants about hot issues to get more of views yeah yeah that's funny I also would never trust anyone saying anything about science unless you read the paper yourself even news articles about pop science or bullshit yeah not with Odmik on that one for sure you're mad but shitting on Greta for being mad ah Tyler, uh, Dante to Tyler yeah 
I found him when I was 15 and I'm 19. Uh, Tyler, you're 19. Uh, you might be really intelligent. I met a lot of really smart 19 year olds that I work with them and stuff like this. But there's something to be said about living life. I suppose I'm quite naive and easily manipulated, but I don't want to conform to the mainstream indoctrination. Tyler, not conforming to the mainstream indoctrination doesn't mean conforming to those who are against the mainstream mainstream indoctrination, right? Just because it's like it's like Bush, if you're not for us, you're against us. That doesn't make sense. It's not a it's not this or that. It's a spectrum. You have to do your own research and when you find sources of information that BS a lot, they could be wrong, right? It's okay to be honestly wrong about your opinion if if you're you're speaking in what is it on the cuff and you haven't done the research and someone wants your general opinion but it's okay to be wrong but it's totally wrong uh different if you're propagating misinformation and disinformation on a regular basis so just because they say mainstream indoctrinate mainstream media propagandists and all stuff is wrong doesn't mean what they're saying is right sure the ice is melting in Arteca, but they also found 90 volcanoes on top of the uh, other 40 or something volcanoes that were already known that's 130 volcanoes sure they are inactive dormant but they still produce and give off gas i'm sure this helps the ice melting a lot more than many um, many other belief reasons yeah is literally just parroting mainstream conservative mainstays there's yeah i'm gonna skip the paul joseph Watson conversation i'm pretty sure most of us agree that you can't take him for oh wow i missed a lot of chat okay i'm gonna scroll down gang do, 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 find anything that says chicho on it dante chicho no that was directed at you why are you giving greta shit for being mad when you say you are mad as well ah okay dante it's okay to be mad it's not okay to go on a tamper tamper tantrum because as soon as you go into a tamper tantrum and put up your wall of fear and your fanaticism right that this is only right this is only right this is only right dismiss everything else right then that's no longer productive you will be stuck in your anger your madness and who knows where you're going to go my other reason is right I've had a lot more life experience I know how, how to handle my anger right my madness don't get me wrong Dante respect for Greta right I feel her right I feel for her right but a 16 year old being taken advantage of on that level is not okay with me it really isn't okay it really is not I'm not mad at her or disagree with her because she's mad. I disagree with the movement, the way it's unfolding, because it's it's not from the bottom up, right? It really isn't. Even though they say, oh, Greta started the whole, it's not, it's from the top down. There's absolutely no way this movement have reached a stage in a year if it wasn't from the top down, 100% from the top down. So who is controlling her? I feel sorry for her, I really do. I wouldn't want to be in that situation or any of my family to be in that situation. I'm not claiming it has anything to do with global warming, just that it most likely helps with melting the ice. Wow, a lot of conversation. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip down to the bottom. If there's anything you guys wanted me to look at, please put Chicho Live at Chicho Live or whatever so I see it highlights it. How do you think revolutions happen? If you don't think that movements can grow fast um, the environmental movement hasn't grown fast it's been in the works for a long time I'm, I don't mean the environmental movement I mean the push that's happened right now you said a couple of streams ago that Sarabia could tip uh, in an instant just like Iran yeah that nobody thought the Shah would be a topple yeah agreed 
and then it was a million uh, and then it was millions on the streets yes I'm gonna keep on reading your comment Dante I, I know where you're going with this but I'm gonna keep on reading because I'm pretty sure you're about to say uh, then why don't I believe that the environmental movement could move so fast yeah you made the point perfect so why don't I believe that this environmental movement is going to be productive is going to take us to where we need to go is because this movement is looking for central power to bring on the change it's not going to happen the central power right now is totally controlled by the corporations by the establishment by the oligarchs okay by the multinationals that are shot over the earth right so the only thing they will do they will put in barriers for disruptive innovation to displace them right if people want to bring about change boycott everything only buy food from local communities your local farmers if you can right uh, stop flying on planes traveling all over the place recycle reuse get together with communities there's so much. protect your watersheds huge 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 protect your watersheds uh, pass laws locally which is happening like Dante I, there's there is positive to what's going on with Greta all right where there are local cities and councils passing laws to protect their region 100% 100% but if we're talking about Greta herself oh, man I feel sorry for her she should not be put in that position and she's gonna have a she's already had a nervous breakdown for sure uh, who knows where she's going to go with this uh, and it's central power that's controlling her I don't trust central power period I really don't even though there's millions of people that are into the streets right I've talked to like I work with kids right none of my students went to us and they're aware they're they're conscious right like given the choice they didn't go okay they're, it's being pushed from the top down social movement theory is a thing I did some light study on in college there's some early research on how that's changing in our modern world examples are Egypt in 2011 I'm from Sweden same country as Greta neither her or her family is popular here mainly because their ideology and how they have behaved against people with different opinions they have been used as front figures against others they got the same PK mafia which is like the political cracked mafia yeah that's the feel I get from the whole movement right if you're if you're against us if you're not for us you're against us if you're not the solution you are the problem and the solution they talk about is their solution right if you're not implementing their solutions then you're the problem that mindset mentality I totally disagree with I totally disagree with that's fascism by the way that's pure fascism extremism alienate anyone that is not for you there are some signs that we don't need the kind of top-down movement for social movements to take off like Chicho mentioned more data is needed okay I'm gonna read that again caseman uh, so I'll keep that in mind as well uh, there's some signs that we don't need the kind of top-down movement for social movements to take off like Chicho mentioned more data is needed so contradicts what I say if I read that correctly there is there are some signs that we don't need the kind of top-down movement for social movements to take off like Chicho mentioned more data is needed more data is needed yeah we're in the beginning stages of serious changes taking place right like the biggest movement right now that has been for the last decade and a half is the whistleblower movement which is one of the reasons during the Democrats during Obama's administration they prosecuted more 
whistleblowers than any other president combined, right? Has yeah. that stopped? I don't know. Greta is only brought to the light by the left ideologi ideologists and climate activists. In Sweden, certain schools and the teachers are forcing the students to join the skip for school climate. Yeah, for sure, here as well. There are people who, you know, we have to go. So maybe one, two students out of 30 people want to go, but 30 people go, right? They sent out messages to the parents about it. Some parents got upset about this and told the media, but most media ignored it. Social media and online communities have changed the dynamics for social movement. Okay, yeah, Caseman, I agree. Uh, but there is, we also have to consider there is major censorship being ta uh, taking place right now too. Isn't there something like some change will be uh, enacted at 5% of the population wants to change. Yeah, that's called, um, I forget what it's called. It's a fishy sounding uh, stat to me, but uh, I'd make it 5%, I think is the bare minimum, but I agree. Like right now, most corporate propaganda, propagandas, propaganda in the Western world is controlled by 5% of the population, right? The news media, the news media and stuff. So there is something to it. And I've, I've read some stuff about it. I've never dug down to see if it works or not. But in science, we have it. You know, if you're mixing chemicals, this percent mixed with this percent does nothing. You don't see any changes. And then you increase it a little bit, and all of a sudden, the whole solution turns white. Right? Source that claim. Dante, which claim? Forcing children to protest. Teachers, that is. Well, the schools are saying, okay, we're going to this protest, right? And kids, they like hanging around their own kids. We're going on an outing, let's go. Without getting fired, that is. I hope you can read Swedish. Give me a while to find it again. Cool. If enough people repeat your lie, it is perceived as the truth. Do your own research. Me, Joe. I'll just use Google Translate. Literally never see, seen that. Google Translate. Hopefully the censorship will not kick them there. Oh wow, I've been going at this for a couple of hours. Jeez Louise. And I skipped a whole bunch of uh, text and stuff. So I think we're gonna call it. Uh, I, um, I would have to dig it up, Dante. Um, they were, I heard it from my students. Okay, the school said, you know, don't go, or whatever it is, right? And they said no. Making an assumption. So I'm taking what my students told me. Uh, making the assumption that climate change is a real threat and something that needs immediate action. Their behavior makes sense. Yeah, if you take into assumption that, but I don't think we, us human beings, in regard to uh, science. We assume we know everything because the variables that we've measured correlate to what is happening. But what if there are other variables we haven't accounted for? None of the governing bodies behind the school education is behind the protest. None of the government, the teachers, some of the teachers are, some of the main teachers are. Oh, you're in Sweden, yeah. Yeah. Interesting discussion, I know, you know, Touchy subject, touchy subject. Uh, so there might be <laughs> there might be some flack regarding uh, conversation here, I guess. But it is what it is. So should we call the stream game? We've been up for a couple of hours. Two hours and nine minutes. By the way, I'm going to be uh, releasing a like a six minute, four minute video today after this. And it's just a follow, just a little segment from the uh, education discussion we had. And that was, it's my harsh, harsh talk I have with some students. It's, it's basically, uh, it's some of the information that I share with some kids that I teach that are very close and they need a little shock factor to a certain degree. The teachers are the ones telling the students to join in, but they are doing it on their own behalf. So that was the only school because of their own ideology. Love the stream, need to follow. Me joking. 
Thanks for the follow if you're following. It happens in most schools that join the movement. I'm confused on writing out the uh, disasters that will come with climate change. I'm focused on, yeah, that's what we should be focusing on. Food production, local food production. Uh, appreciate that certain places are going to get drier. Appreciate that certain places are going to get wetter. Appreciate that certain crop, there's going to be major crop failures in certain regions and certain other regions you will be able to raise uh, or grow different types of crops. So how many schools has this happened? Man? I don't think humanity has the political will to overcome the interest uh, arrayed against taking corrective action. Case man, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. Good discussion, everyone. Good discussion. I'm all about the local resilience. Local resilience is 100% the way to go. How many schools has this happened? I remember school protests when I was in still school. There's a couple of schools that have done these skip schools for the climate day, Dante. But it was in this school that it blew up. Huh? It wasn't about climate, but about education policy. This is schools for small children. Many young teachers supported us, but they never forced us to skip school. Yeah. Okay, gang, I'm gonna call the stream. Uh, I'm gonna crunch, crunch this. Now listen for this, fantastic. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussion, really, really, really appreciate it. Dante, thank you for taking care of business, brother. Thank you very much. I know we disagree on certain things and I was sort of worried that you might walk away from us, uh, from our talks and stuff, but thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being quick on the trigger. Thank you for taking care of business, brother. Really appreciate it. Uh -huh. And tomorrow we're gonna to do a math stream, I believe from 1.30, uh, just drop in math tutoring session from 1.30 to 3.30. And on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, today's Tuesday, we're doing uh, a live stream from one till three, I believe. Uh, let me find that out. And that one's gonna be just uh, economics, right? So we're doing live stream tomorrow from 1 30 p.m to 3 30 p.m pdt my time pacific west coast canada united states and on tuesday from 1 till 3 p.m and that one's going to be personal finance okay and again thank you very much for being here gang and uh, i hope you guys have a fantastic sunday i'm not afraid of debate thanks dante yeah me either i actually thrive on it i love it i'm a cubs fan and it's the worst Happy last day of baseball season. Oh no, Cubs, I guess they're not doing good. We all disagree about certain things, but communication is the key to everyone. It's time for the football. Down here in Bama. Enjoy the football. Bye everyone, we'll talk later. Oh well. Ah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> funny, because he's a cards fan. Funny, funny. Bye everyone. <laughs>